great three how are you i hope you are doing well okay today we are going to study a new unit which is unit 11 on page 80 you see and as usual we have to learn some new vocabularies actually maybe they are not new maybe you heard about these words but today we are going to practice more about these words okay so the words are about transportations or transports. What does it mean transportation? Transportation, it means those things that they can carry people from a place to another place. And here in Kurdistan also we have some transports. Okay. So we are going to learn first the pronunciation. I mean, how can you read the words? If you see, first we have ferry, bus, helicopter, motorbike, plane, Taxi, train, and tram. Okay, I'm going to read it again. Ferry, bus, helicopter, motorbike, plane, taxi, train, tram. So now we will move to practice on the flashcards. Students, it's time to practice on the flashcard. But today we are going to learn the word in a different way. How? First, we will learn the word. Then we will put this word with an adjective. It means we are going to bring an adjective and we will make a phrase with this word okay first word you have to guess which word is it is it a bus nope is it a taxi nope of course not so if you see it's like a big ship but it has different name which is ferry okay so the first word we have a ferry. Fer it's like a ship, but in a big way, it's a bigger than the ship. Okay. Here in Kurdistan, we don't have any ferry. You know why? Because we don't have any ocean, any big sea. That is why we don't have ferry, something like that. Okay. Uh, let's bring an adjective and put it with this word. For example, we can say huge ferry. Why not? We can say big ferry. Yes, exactly. We can say huge and big have the same meaning. Okay. They have the same meaning. They are equal to each other. Huge, it means very big. So you can say there's a big or there's a huge ferry on the ocean. Okay, or in the ocean. This is the first word. Okay, now let us move to the next one. Guess, what is that word? Is it helicopter? Nope. Is it a motorbike? Of course not. We have something like that in Kurdistan, okay? We have it. So it's bus, okay? It's an orange bus. So let's see the spelling. B-U-S, it will be bus, okay? You can say uh, long bus or you can say beautiful bus. You can say orange bus, okay? You can bring an adjective and make a phrase with this word. So now, after bus, we have this word, which is, guess what is that word? Come on, try. Is it train? Nope. Is it taxi? Of course not. Okay? And actually, you like, especially the boys, they like this transport, which is helicopter. It's helicopter. You see? Helicopter. Helicopter. Please don't say helicopter anymore. The word is totally wrong. You have to say helicopter. Okay. And it doesn't need to, to sound, uh, to pronounce this R strongly. Don't say helicopter. Okay. Just helicopter. The word is helicopter. Okay. You can say there's a red helicopter or the helicopter is really very uh, fast. Okay. Okay. Something like that. So next word we have motor bike. Sorry. We have this word which is motor bike and the color is green if you look. And here also we have motor bike. Okay. Motor bike is actually is different than bike. Okay. Motor bike. You can say I have got a small motorbike, I have got um, uh, an awesome motorbike, something like that, okay? After motorbike, we have 
this word. The picture is, is plain, right? Am I right? Are you agree with me, dear students? Is it plain or taxi? No, nope, it's not taxi. It's plain. Okay. So this is the word plain. Okay, plain. Plain actually is bigger than the helicopter. Okay. And also we can uh, visit another country. Okay. You can use this transport and visit another country. This is the word plane. You can say white plane or amazing plane, something like that, or small plane. But actually this, the planes are very big. After that, we have taxi. Okay, if you see the word, it's written taxi. We have taxi and you, you, you are familiar with this word, right? With this transport, I mean. So taxi, here in Kurisa we have a lot of taxis. So this is taxi. And next one we have train. And the last one we have tram, okay? Train and tram. But I would like, I would like to tell you what are the difference between these two transports. Train, look at the picture. You hear about train? So this is tram. Tram. Tram is train, but it's modified. It means tram is modified train. Guli min wata tram har lahaman shiwi train na lahaman shiwi shaman na fara balam tia goran kari basar hato. Or you can say it's a uh, electrical uh, train. Basha guli min. So train and tram they are like the same. Okay, train tram. And here in Kurdistan we don't have these two transports. You know. Okay, you can see the train is very fast, the train is very long, the tram as well is very long and it's fast. Okay, these are the words. Gulliman, so now it is time to practice on the story. We have a story, okay? In the story, these words are, they are used and the title for this story is in the museum. And let us see what will happen. Okay, well, let's see what will happen in the museum with this family or with this family or with these friends. Okay, now please listen very well, listen carefully. What's this? Is it a tram? No, it isn't. It's a horse bus. There were horse buses 200 years ago. Look at these. There were some funny trains 100 years ago. Wow. There were skateboards 50 years ago. And they were very big. Look at this motorbike, Leo. Oh, wow. It's so cool. Can you take a photo of me? Sure. Leo, that man is looking at your skateboard. Wow, look! This skateboard is 50 years old. No, sorry. That's my skateboard. It's only two years old. Dear students, now it is time to practice on the story first. I'm going to read the story for you and you can read it twice after me. And also you can act the story with your family members as we did when we were at school. Okay. So the title, as I told you, is in the museum. The first picture, the first speaker is Holly. So it means that Holly is speaking. Holly says, what's this? Is it a tram? Max says, no, it isn't. It's a horse bus. There were horse buses 200 years ago. Picture two, Amy. Look at these. There were some funny trains a hundred years ago. Leo says, wow, there were skateboards 50 years ago and they were very big. Picture three. Amy said, look at this motorbike, Leo. Leo said, oh, wow, it's so cool. Amy 
asked a question and she said, Can you take a photo of me? Leo said, Sure. Picture for Max, Leo, that man is looking at your skateboard. The man said, Wow, look, this skateboard is 50 years old. Leo said, No, sorry, that's my skateboard. It's only two years old. Dear students, now it's time to take a look at the board because I wrote a sentence for each word, okay? Unit 11, page 80 word, of course, it's on the class book. The title for these words is transports or transportations. Transport, it means uh, so the first word we have ferry. As you see, I wrote my sentence, okay? And I skip this space to write down your sentences. This is for all of the words you have to practice in this room. Ferry, I went over the sea by ferry. Ferry, I underlined the word ferry. I went over the sea by ferry. Bus. I saw a long yellow school bus. Long and yellow, they are adjectives, okay? So, yellow because it's adjective of color, it's followed long, another adjective. So, so also is a verb, it's a past form, okay? The present uh, form is uh, see, the past form is so. Helicopter, she got her by helicopter today. She got her by helicopter today. Okay, so I underlined helicopter. Motorbike, look at the motorbike, it's too fast. I mean, the motorbike was very fast, so I underlined motorbike. Another word we have plane. Why is the plane late? Okay, I asked somebody, maybe we were uh, at the airport. We were waiting somebody to come back from other country and then I asked this question because the plane was late. So I asked, why is the plane late? So I underlined plane. So after plane, we have taxi. And I wrote this sentence for taxi. There was a woman in the taxi. There was a woman in the taxi. And I underlined the word taxi. It means I saw a woman and she was in the taxi. So, train. Trains are faster than buses. I compare these two transports, okay? If you remember comparative subject, you have to add ER to the adjective. Her fast is the adjective and we added ER. So, it means that we compare trains with buses. And trains are faster than buses. Actually, of course, trains are faster than buses. So, Tram and the last word we have, the tram was full of people. I mean that when I went into a tram and I saw the tram was full of people. Okay, so the tram was full of people. And these are the words. I hope you to write down your own sentences, as I told you before. And now let us move to the workbook and practice on the workbook. And let us see which homework do you have for next time. Thank you. So now let's move to the workbook. On the workbook on page 80, we have these two exercises. And the first exercise said, or it asked, look and count, write the numbers. Here we have a big city. In this big city, you can see some transports. You can count them or you have to count the transport, then write down the numbers, like the first example. And it's easy. The second exercise asked, write true or false. I mean, it's about true and false. We have eight sentences and we have this picture you have to read the sentences and you have to know if the sentence is right or wrong how for example number one there's a tram under the bridge you have to look for the tram and you have to check if it's under the bridge or not and the rest it's like that so have a nice time that's all for today